And let's go ahead and take a look around at Katyana right now. Be sure to clean off your grill. Barbecue season is here and our very own Al Abair is hanging out with barbecue coach and purveyor of home grill advantage. Brandon Hunt. They've got some tips for us this grilling season. Hey Al, how's it going? Hey Taylor, I have a treat for you. Brandon Hunt, barbecue coach, purveyor of home grill advantage, podcast host, co-podcast host. Uh, this guy does it all. Uh, including a, a competitive barbecuer. Before we move to this, tell us about Home Grill Advantage. Home Grill Advantage was started years ago and it's all about the home cook. I love teaching my barbecue knowledge and giving it to others. And I really love the fact that people can really make good food with whatever they have on hand and have good technique about it. Stirring the Pot podcast is something where we take it a little bit further. So myself, Brandon D and KCP are part of a podcast called Stirring the Pot. Um, we have a YouTube. You can go on YouTube and find that out. Um, and we talk about the historical aspects of food and we get controversial about it, too. I love that. We love food controversy, don't we? Hey, Brandon, uh, to find the podcast, are you on Spotify? Yes, we're on Spotify, stirring the pot. So stirring without the G with an apostrophe after the N. OK, any place else we can find you? Spotify, Apple Music. Um, I'm sorry, Ap Amazon Music. Um, and on YouTube. On YouTube. And the channel on YouTube is called? Stir in the Pot. You'll see pot. our little face, our three faces, and it's a caricature. caricature. Okay. I love that. So, <laughs> Brandon, there's a lot of people who won't know what these are. What are these? So these are chicken lollipops. It is a very impressive thing that you can do for your family and friends. Very cheap um, that you can get in the grocery store. I bought these for probably right under $7. Um, and it's the way to make these chickens stand up again. Okay, I love it. So how do you make a chicken lollipop? Very, very simple. So all you, all you do is you take your chicken leg and you take this part and you make it flat. So you cut down on the, the chicken leg, right? Right. So we already have that. I had that part cut off a little bit already. So you just make that chicken leg stand up. Gotcha. That's the first step. So then you come down about two thirds of the way down and you just cut all the way around all of that cartilage and connective tissue on that leg and you'll start to see that separate all right so if you come down here you'll see we have the chicken ankle all right who, who knew chickens had ankles huh? <laughs> i mean I'm, I'm amazed at that all you have to do is just follow your your thumb along the top or shall i say the bottom and just pull that off okay Boom, we're done now you'll see all these little connective tissues. You can take your scissors and you can snip that off, pull that meat down, boom. Boom, a chicken lollipop. This is great stuff. That's why this show is so educational. We're gonna go back to you in the studio. Brandon Hunt, chicken lollipops, home real advantage. Love this. But guys, we have to check in with our very own a bear. He is hanging out with barbecue coach Brandon Hunt. They have some grilling tips for us this season. Hey Al, how's it going? You know, I, I am with food luminaries here. Uh, I have Brandon DeQueer. I have Casey Patan, or Patton as they say in Houston, and of course Brandon Hunt. Uh, the podcast is called Stir in the Pot. Casey, what is Stir in the Pot all about? Well, basically Stir in the Pot is all about teaching people how to cook, the science behind cooking, even the historical aspects of food, whether it's Cajun, you know, background or not. And also, we also discuss all the controversial stuff with Cajun cooking, if your, tom if your gumbo has tomatoes in it or not. Whoa, yeah, you want to start a <laughs> fight, you put tomatoes in gumbo. Exactly. So basically, that's how we started. And we each have our own kind of input in the podcast. Brandon uh, D over here is our food science nerd, and we have the barbecue master right here. So, and you know, I love history, so I love looking into why things are and where they came from, and and I bake too. I love that. I love that. I might have a baking gig for you. Hey, Brandon, you you like the science? What aspect of food 
from a science standpoint would surprise people? Well, uh, one of the things that's surprising is uh, the frying process. The frying process is actually, um, when you fry food, you're actually steaming the fruit from the inside out. So the oil superheats the water inside the food and steams it from the inside out. And that steam pressure pushes the oil outside of the food so it doesn't become too greasy. So that's why frying at a low temperature will make your food greasy. And frying at a too high temperature that's too high will make your food hot on the outside, ice cold in the middle. So That's amazing. I mean, I eat fries all the time. French fries, fried chicken. Who'd have thought? So this thing that you just said, it goes for everything? But French fries, fried chicken, right, all that. Right. It, they all they all basically work the same. You superheat the water inside to create steam to cook the food from the inside out. That's why it gives it a nice moist and juicy texture, and that's that's how the frying. So it, it, that's why your frying temperature has to be perfect, so that you don't well, you don't under either. If your co oil is too cold, it'll the oil will soak into the food and make it greasy. If it's too hot, it won't heat. You know, it'll burn the outside without cooking steam in the food. So. Okay, food is science. We just heard that from, an, he's an engineer, by the way. Yeah, an engineer hey, by trade. An engineer by trade. His passion is food. Hey, look what we learned about frying this morning. Fry me to the moon. Hey, going to go back to you in the studio. Frying.